Hi guys, are you looking for an SUV with the extra utility of seven seats? Or maybe you just want a seven-seater, but you want something that looks quite rugged and eye-catching. Well, let me show you the new Kia Sorento Hybrid. It's a very comprehensive facelift of one of Kia's most popular cars. It comes with new styling, new features, and an efficient new powertrain. The same old value for money. Now sometimes you've got to squint really hard to find out what's new about a facelifted car but not with the new Sorento. It's got these striking new headlights for a start and check out these daytime running lights. They form what Kia calls a star map design. It's also got a very interesting grille with these 3D elements but you can still see the tiger nose shape that makes Kias so recognizable. Overall, I think they started with a very handsome car and have made it much more eye-catching. Okay, you might expect a seven-seat SUV to be really vertical and boxy in the back, but not the Sorento. It's got a nice angle to the rear glass over here. And check out this sporty tailgate spoiler. There is a high-mounted stop lamp over here, but I want to draw your eye to these two new vertical taillights. Look how they're joined by another star map design. Oh, and I really like this satin finish that they have to the chrome strip down there. This is a very rugged looking car, but that adds a little bit of sophistication. But while I'm here, I may as well show you something which is very important to the new Sorento, and that's the boot. Alrighty, this is a sport utility car, so let's talk about utility. When you use the Sorento as a five-seater, you actually have 608 litres back here, which is a heck of a lot. But if you want to carry even more stuff, well, that's easily done. A couple of buttons here. You can fold the middle row chairs, and that gives you 1,996 litres. And just check out how flat this loading surface is. And if you want to pop up the rearmost seats, well, that's also easily done. Look, I can get this done with one hand. And even if you use the Sorento with all seven seats, you still have 179 litres of boot space back here. So you can take the entire family shopping and they can still buy quite a lot of stuff, but probably not a good idea to tell them that. But what good is having seven seats if they are difficult to get to? Well, let me show you how easy it is with the Sorento. So I'm gonna fold this upright and pretend they're back here where they normally would be. And if I want to have access to the third row, I just push a button over here. They pivot out of the way like this. And with any luck, I should be able to get myself back there without having to be a yoga master. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, actually, yeah, there's a holder for it here. Yeah. Okay, now that I'm back here, I've actually noticed there is a hand grip over here that should let people pull themselves into the third row. And I want to point out that I have a decent amount of headroom back here, and that's because the rear of the car does have a shape that accommodates rear headroom. And, you know, check out this window over here, guys. It's kind of tilted forward like that, just to make the Sorento look a little bit extra sporty from the outside, even though it is shaped for rear headroom. Important safety features, I have a proper headrest back here. So if I get rear-ended, I don't break my neck. And I actually have my own three-point seat belt back here. Very, very important. I am 1.75 meters tall and I can actually fit back here, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do wish there was a little bit more space in front of me. But that is entirely up to how well I get along with the person in this row because if I want, I can actually create a bit more room for the fellow back there by doing this. But what about me? Well, check this out. I can move this out of the way as well. So this obviously is a car for the whole family to enjoy together. And you've got important things like a three-point safety belt for the middle passenger over here. Well, the ambience is very nice because it's got a glass roof to let light flood into the cabin. Of course, if you want, you can close that with a sunshade by pressing that button over there. There are cup holders built into the door as well as a bottle holder down there. And oh yeah, if you really don't like the sun, you want to stay fair, right? You can do this as well. Pull up this sunshade over here. Super important guys, rear aircon vents and a couple of USB charging ports built into the seat. So you're all set for a nice long journey here. And assuming there's no one behind you, you can even recline the seats and relax. So the Sorento is all about space, but it's also about versatility. Okay, let's look at the front of the car together, guys. And it is seriously rugged looking inside here. You've got all these edges and you've got these metallic surfaces. It's very manly. And I can feel my testosterone levels rising just sitting here. 
me, I can feel my testosterone levels right sitting here. Well, there's two screens in front of me and they're slightly curved and angled towards the driver. This isn't the touch screen, but it is the driver display, 12.3 inches, very bright and very clear. This one, as I said, is within easy reach, like even the furthest corner is something I can reach. And it is also bright and clear, but also very easy to use. So it's a menu-based system, or rather a tile-based system. And if you don't like what you see here, you can actually pair your phone to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto Pick Your Poison. Now notice there's a row of controls down here. They give you instant access to the most common functions. Uh, like if you're on the home screen, you can do that. But you can actually change them too. So this is multifunctional. If I press that, they actually become the aircon controls, which is very handy. So you don't have to look inside a touch screen or a menu system to change the temperature or change the fan speed. For the rest of the car, well, as I said, it is very rugged and modern looking. So I've got a knob here for the gear controls. I've got Driving modes as well, there's three driving modes with this car. There's Eco, there's Sport, those are self-explanatory. And then there's Smart, which lets the car decide how you're driving and then adapt yourself accordingly. You might have noticed the ambient lighting here. Well, you can actually choose your own color, whatever you like, or you can have it linked to the driving modes, Eco and Smart and Sport. Of course, my choice is Sport. Something that everyone should try once in their lives, ventilated front seats. There's a switch here for that. And once you go with a car that has these, you'll never go back. Overall, I think you can see that the Sorento is a car with everything, but it's also very thoughtfully designed. And here's the most interesting part. The Sorento Hybrid has a 1.6 liter turbo petrol engine, but that's paired with a 64 horsepower electric motor. Altogether, they make 215 horsepower. So the Sorento definitely isn't underpowered, but the best part is it can actually cover 1,300 kilometers on a single tank of fuel. The fuel consumption is just 5.1 liters per 100 kilometers. That means you can drive from here to Ipo, hit your five favorite food spots inside Epo and come back with room to spare with fuel to spare sh <laughs> sorry and then drive back to Singapore with plenty of fuel to spare this is a family car so I do want to talk to you about safety now the Sorento does have a camera system and that allows it to identify pedestrians cyclists as well as other vehicles and it can warn you when it thinks you're about to have a collision with them but also apply the brakes for you in case you fail to react on time. And think about a dangerous situation where you have to turn right across a busy junction. Well, the Kia does look out for traffic coming the other way and it will apply the brakes for you just to save you if it thinks you're going to have a collision. It's almost like having a guardian angel driving with you. Finally, there is safe exit assist. If you're inside the car and you're about to open the door into someone's path, well, the Kia can detect that as well and sound a warning to alert you to the danger. Of course, if it all goes wrong, it does have seven airbags, but I think with this many active safety systems on board, it's not super likely that you're ever gonna need them. Well, that's our quick walk around review of the new Kia Sorento Hybrid. I'm sure you can see that it is stylish, it is spacious, it's super well equipped, and it does have fantastic fuel economy. If you do wanna know more about the car, or if you wanna take one for a test drive, feel free to let me know at the number below or get in touch with one of our friendly Kia salespeople. Oh, and please consider subscribing. We are a new channel and we could really use your support. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. See you again.